You'll often hear me talk about self-mastery as a key component of heroic leadership and as a key component of our leadership philosophy. I think a great metaphor for the importance of self-mastery is to consider this quote from the Greek philosopher Archimedes who said, give me a place to stand and a lever and I'll move the world. So consider that metaphor. There's three key components to it. First is the person, that place to stand, that firm ground. The second is the lever, which represents how we exert influence. And the third is the world, which represents the group we're trying to influence. Of these three elements, a place to stand, a lever in the world, the most important, the place we have to begin, is this first step, is this centering. When we have that confident place to stand, we are steady, we are centered, we're regulated. The problem is, is that today, we often forgo this first step. We want to rush right to the lever. We want to rush right to influence. But what the problem is, is that we fail because we have no trusted fulcrum. If we don't develop that trusted place to stand, we'll never be able to find an authentic lever. Inner experience is vital. We must first gain inner authority before we can exert influence over others, before we can exert outer influence. To help us understand the importance of first developing inner authority, we use an image we call the archer stance. And if you look at that image, it has three key components. First is what we call projection, the ability to look at the future, to look over the horizon. The second is action, now, the present, the ability to practice and prepare as leaders. And the third is reflection, the courage to look at the past, the ability to honestly look at the past, to courageously look at the past, to be honest with ourselves, and to garner those critical lessons learned to help us improve. Through self-discipline, what great leaders do is devote time and energy to those three elements, the future, now, and the past. And when we do that, we develop a consistent and trustworthy leadership end state, which is made up of vitality, being emotionally centered, and being resonant with those we lead.